Lords fans, here to do another movie review for you. Mm. And <laughs> this one, dang. Oh, I'm shivering in my boots. The Evil Dead. Right. Let's see if my neck can go all the way around. <laughs> Hold on, let me help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Evil Dead Rise. So this Ouch. one, Dane, when we did the trailer reaction, we got a ton of people viewing that. I want to say wow. something like the, 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 3,000 views on that trailer. The cult reaction. is interested. They want to know all about the Evil Dead Rise. So um, excited to talk about it. Well, if you are new to this channel, we like to do a movie review every Monday. And then the rest of the week, we do trailer reactions, music, uh, series reviews, all kinds of other stuff. Uh, all that we ask is please hit the subscribe button. Doesn't doesn't cost you anything, but it what it does is it'll put us into your future feeds and you can see all the stuff that we're putting out. So, right. so and we promise we won't secretly visit you in the night. That is right. <laughs> we are only the cult lords. So what do you think? <laughs> all right, unless you bring your iPad into bed with you, <laughs> then we'll be there. So, uh, so Dane... Especially if you need to go to sleep. <laughs> Dane? Yes. We always like to start these movie reviews with a drink, and I'm, I'm sitting here as we're talking... Filling the ice? ice putting ice. What are, what are we're we doing Mom and Pop's Blood Orange Aperitif. Aperitif. Kind of a pop, pop label there, but... Pop. Blood Red. Seems apropos for the... This is going to be sweet, then? It should be sweet. I don't know. I haven't tried it. What? So what kind of... Actual like beverage is this? This is a. It's a blood orange. So it is. But it, what is it like? A, yeah. Just a mixer, a wine, or what yeah, is it's it? it's a mix of blood orange with wine. Okay, so, so it's, it's like, wine. So it's kind of like. God, a, I didn't know if like it was a vodka yeah. mix or a gin mix or something like that. You like mm, it? Smells. The ladies will like it. Fruity already. Definitely very sippable. If you want to just enjoy. That's very sweet, but it's, it's sweet. good. It's good. It's got a nice, even taste. But you know it. what? It tastes, it, it is like a wine. Yeah. It tastes almost like a sangria, but it's blood yeah. orange yeah. mixed with, um, I don't know what the wine is because yeah. it doesn't say, but There's it's probably. There's not much info on that bottle. It's probably, no, it's not. 17 alcohol percent. Uh, and that's it. Well, <laughs> it's made in California. What, what's Mom and Pop <laughs> Napa, California. What's uh, dangerous is I could, like, Probably. sip on this too easy, I think, you know. <laughs> it's almost like a soft drink. Not a soft drink, but it's a wine. You could easily, I mean, this could easily be mixed into a lot of different things. Or just this is, like, like not not like our normal whiskeys and ryes we drink. So, no. All right. more for the blood orange theme. Gotcha. Well, if you uh, have not seen the movie The Evil Dead Rise, we've got a, a warning for you, Dane. Uh-oh. What is it? Spoiler alert! Danger, Will Robinson. Spoiler Danger. Alert. Spoiler alert. We're going to go into some major heavy spoilers here and talk about what happened in the movie. So if you don't want that ruined for you, um, hit pause. Go watch the movie. It's out on streaming. It's out on Blu-ray Blu and 4K. And then come back and see if you agree with what we think about the movie. Because remember, Mommy loves you to death. Oh. Mommy's with the maggots now. <laughs> so, uh, so we always like to know a little bit about what the general public thinks of the movie before we share what we think of the movie. So we like to discuss the Rotten Tomato scores. Now, we try to avoid these things, like the plague, until we actually do our review. Yeah. Dane, have you kept yourself? Have you averted your eyes? I have. Not I hid in my vault, my secret vault. He has not averted his eyes from Vampirella here <laughs> with that view. You I can just leave that. I out saw there. him. This is a better view. I noticed you were tapping that <laughs> with, your, <laughs> with your little with your little hammer. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, okay. Sounds pretty solid there, yeah, doesn't pretty it? Pretty solid. All right. So let's take a gander at the Rotten Tomato scores. But Dane, what? Since you have not seen them, take a guess what the, the critics gave. Uh, my <laughs> infallible guesses that are never wrong. Uh, I'm going to go critic. I am going to go low on this one. I'm, I'm going to say 59. Mm. 59 for the mm -hmm. critics. What do you think? 
for the viewers? Uh, 82. 82. All right. Let's see how infallible those guesses are. <laughs> because the critics Just gave like the this, Pope. Critics gave it an 83%. What? Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you said 59. I know. I they, deliberately, this time, I'm like, I think the critics are going to be hard on this. Gave it an 83%. Wow, okay. Yeah. And, then the, and then the audience, you said 82%. The audience gave it a 76. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, okay. It was, that. that's rare. Yeah. That it's gone reverse like that. You thought the critics like this more than you think. I, I was going to think, I think, you know, in this particular movie, being that it's such a cult favorite, and, you know, we've got one of the Army Darkness comic books here, and if you guys have watched the original Evil Dead, and then the other Evil Deads, and then the Army of Darkness, I mean, there's a huge amount of cult uh, viewership on these particular franchise. So there was high expectations this was going to properly fit into that echelon but now uh, you, you just reminded me of something you talked about the evil dead two one and two mm -hmm. and then the army of darkness did you ever watch the evil dead series that came out on like i think it was I think I caught, like, like showtime or something i think i caught one episode or something so i don't know i watched all of season one. Oh, okay. and it was really good and then i started watching season two and i wasn't i wasn't as hooked as i was season oh. one but i think they ended up with three seasons Total, I think it was. Yeah. Um, and it was like, what was it called? Evil Dead, uh, Ash's Revenge or something um, like that. I don't know. Well, man, Bruce Campbell built a career oh, <laughs> off he? of this off of this franchise. I mean, and this is like the classic... Ash uh, versus the Evil Dead. That's what it was. Classic situation where an actor so embodies the character that oh. everyone forever identifies him with this. I right. mean... Shatner, obviously, Captain Kirk. Anybody? They should be sending up a report momentarily, Captain. Oh. Something wrong. A kink in my back. That's it. A little, little higher, please. Push. Push hard. Take it in there, Mr. Sp Thank you, Yellman. That's sufficient. Who's another right. classic you want to throw in there? That, when you think of that person, you can't think of anything but right. that. Um, there's a lot, and, you know... Harrison, Harrison Ford has definitely been able to embody a lot of different characters. So mm -hmm. originally you would say Harris, uh, Han Solo, but then then obviously Indiana Jones. I know when you think Channing Tatum, all you can think of is Magic Mike. I right? know, man. I cannot. I can't get out of that. Yeah. That's all I can think of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, wait, uh, where are we? Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, now that we know what the, the general public think, now it's for the important ratings. Yes. The Coat Lords ratings. Hand delivered. Larry from our accounting firm, Toloit and Douche. Thank you for sponsoring us. Thank you for sponsoring us. Uh, we always appreciate it. Uh, if you ever need to get uh, any accounting done... Go on the internet and look up Toloit and Douche. <laughs> and, and then tell us what you find because. Uh... <laughs> All right, Cult Lords rating time. All right, Dane, get All ready. All right, here we go. On the count of three one, two, three. three. Ah! Mm, Bring out the... more Bruce, 7.9. Yeah, Book of the Dead, now on vinyl, yeah. 7.6. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, All right. well. Oh, man, they did that again. Watch Heck. out. We Watch tried out. to lock that in the vault how many times? I know. I know. All right, so we both thought it was average to good, right? Mm -hmm. um, and there was things I liked about this movie. I, I was, like, kind of dreading this movie, right? Uh, I don't know why. I, th I just thought, man, this thing's going to be bloody as hell. And guess what? I wasn't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to really guess too much. Yeah. It was definitely as bloody as hell. Mm. It was, it was, and, and you know, and I think that's where they like uh, tried to live up to the original franchise. But in this particular case, it happened very, very quickly. And it right. was nonstop the entire day. And, <laughs> and they kept amping it up. There was 0% campiness or comedy relief in this 
right? Like, you watch Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, there's, like, some campiness. Right. Well, there's a lot of campiness in Evil Dead 2. And then, of course, Army of Darkness, total campiness. But right. there, I didn't find anything, like, remotely funny or, like, bringing out a laugh in I this. mean, the only thing you could say is they tried to, like, maybe, from a fan standpoint, make you laugh when the eyeball got right in the guy's yeah. mouth again. <laughs> You're like, oh, they did that again. Yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't find any comic relief. Yeah, there was not. I mean, I guess which it, could I, be good. I think the the mother was trying to be funny, mm. but then it just turned out it wasn't funny. It was it was pure like gruesome Very horror. Gruesome like, horror. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. They didn't. They needed a comedy writer, I, I think, thrown into this. The only thing I I kind of laughed about was in the very beginning when the earthquake happens and they drop their pizza. Um. You know, they go over to try to retrieve the pizza, and I'm like, I don't know if it would have, like, it was all, like, stuck I know, to the top. it was completely, like, messed destroyed. up. Like, I'm sorry, pizza's good in whatever form yeah. it's in. You're going to yeah. eat it. Yeah. No one's going to throw away pizza. Well, yeah. But I, that's the only thing I can think of. But Even if you're a number of spoiled brats, because, yeah. man, do those kids great on my nerves. Uh, yeah. So, you know, it does start off with that earthquake, and then... Like a vault underneath this apartment complex opens up, right? You know what I mean? That was cool. And, yeah, I thought that was a great. I thought that was really. What was that place though? It was a. It was a a, a vault that was a I guess part of the former bank building that the priests had yeah. stored. Yeah, because all that. Because that's right. There was. That, and, that's right. It was part of a bank because there was a bunch of safety deposit boxes. Right, still in there. And yeah. I guess the priests had found it or something. And yeah. then they're like, we're gonna hide this in here yeah. before it got. Turned into you know a condo or whatever. Yeah. But remember, the movie started yeah. with the girl. Oh, at the camp. that's right. There was like a precursor to that. So it started very very quickly, and I was pleased with that. I thought, oh well, this is a nice way. Let's just start right away, hearkening back to the original series, and then all of a sudden it turned into a whole other movie. Right. I mean, literally, well, they tied that yeah, beginning into which the I end. thought was lame. Yeah, right. So, well, we'll go into that at the end. Yeah. But yeah, I thought that. Uh, I thought it was good that they started that way because if they'd done it the other way, where were you yeah. just watching kids? And, yeah. Because the earthquake didn't happen right right away. No, no, it didn't happen. It was all backstory. With yeah. Mommy was a tat struggling tattoo artist, and yeah, the kids were all of course. The guy has the drone out there, out on the lake, and yeah, you know they had to use that. Uh, you know, for some blood, right? I right. They needed gonna, like the big gonna, kickoff, like the guy's the head getting ripped off, yeah, and yeah. then. Yeah, and it, well, okay. So let's just talk about that whole storyline because they ended on that where you're like, "Well, where's this beginning got to do with the rest of the movie?" And then you find out that that woman's been in some part of the building that the yeah. elevator had blood all over the place. Right. So how the hell did she? And the stairways, stairways were yeah, destroyed. it was like destroyed. So how did she get down there? That's a good point. I didn't think about like. <laughs> How did she get down there and she's not alarmed by anything? Like, right. oh, we're going to go on this vacation and you're going to come with us. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, and everybody, like, in, on the one floor is, like, massacred. You know, she might have been on a different floor, but she still has the elevator with blood. Right. I mean, it, good point, Dan. It just seemed like, what was the, it was like they boxed themselves into a corner and I'm like, yeah. well, we can't, you know, they should have had her interacting or something should have been a little bit more obvious. And then she, of course, so that was one thing they did, they, I guess, declared in the end. After you've shredded all the bodies up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the demon is just floating around waiting for somebody to take a, it, you know. Yeah. Well, it's waiting it. for the, the next cue. The next victim. Yeah, where can I respawn? Where can I respawn? Oh, here's somebody! Bam! Right. Respawn. And so, so, I, so in some ways, was do you think that this was actually a precursor to the Evil Dead series? It could be. Because that's where it was, in the cabin in the woods, right? Right, right. The thing is this, though. How would she have gotten the Book of the Dead... <laughs> exactly. ...to the cabin? I know. They didn't explain that so part. It, yeah. If, if this was supposed to be a precursor to that, then mm -hmm. there's they're taking a lot of liberties. Liberties, here. with you would just assume. Because but, she was there, and they never showed it in the cabin. Right. right. But let's go back to this earthquake. Right. The boy goes down. He finds all this thing... You know, interesting. So he's loading right. up his backpack. He grabs a bunch of records. There's like pictures of priests. You know, and you're kind of filling in some of the backstory. Yeah, and then he finds dark, the book, dusty thing that he the takes book of the dead, right? Yes. So he takes it up. 
It's but claws. What I have to say is, the when he put on the record, mm-hmm. which I'm surprised that this kid had a record player, but he had a record player. He, he was puts a DJ. On, yeah. Oh, was he? Don't you remember? He was DJ and he was playing his music. He was playing. Oh, I looked oh, that song. Right. He's playing LCD sound system, and he was oh. like listening with his thing. And he's like, "Oh, this is cool. I can go backwards with it." You know, it's right. like. So they they set that up properly. All and, right, you know. So, so go he, ahead. he puts in the record, mm-hmm. and to me, the scariest part of the movie was listening to this record. Right. I thought, like the voices and there were sounds and screaming, and the guys like, "Oh no." You know, we, yeah, we made a mistake, yeah. you know, and blah, 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 blah. Right. Well, and, right. Come on. Amen. Good afternoon, my fellow clergyman. I was like, dude, I would like to see a movie going back to that time with a priest and what they experienced with the Book of the Dead. Because yeah, they're trying to decipher that Book of the Dead, and it's got all these like medieval looking horror pictures in there and right. he's like I think we can use the book of the dead as for a good thing you know what I mean and like you know it's like a like a diary right well no, the, it was a record of the what the priest was doing to yeah. try to get this book out and and the first record was him uh doing kind of like a formal talk with the right. rest of his right. I don't know, like but brethren. He, but he believed that he goes oh, I think if you, well, the more we study, it, it could be a very good thing. You know what I mean? He thought it was very positive. Right. That's why. <laughs> mm Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that... Did that make you jump? Yes. Like so we're talking about the Book of the Dead here. My phone just beeped <laughs> over off camera, and we both jumped. <laughs> like, uh-oh, we're in trouble. That's that's why we made the, the facial reaction we did. So, uh, but no, so, but that, just listening to that, Right. I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Now that could especially because be because he had to try to like start because it was in the wrong format yeah. of his record player, yeah. so he kind of had to speed it up to get it to right. play properly. Right. And the, so that was definitely ominous. I mean, that scene, a lot of the scenes were really cool. I mean, they had a lot of great concepts in here, and I, I you know, that was one of them. But the special effects were outstanding. With the you know crawling on the ceiling and the yeah. and all the other stuff, every I mean they definitely brought the creep factor. Oh in here. yeah, it was, and then they brought the gore factor because yeah, I mean everything from the scissors up the nose. Oh yeah, to mm. of course my favorite the cheese grater. The cheese grater. Uh, what? Yeah. Mm. I uh, and you know what? I've, cheese grater. I own one of these myself. I've got another one even bigger. Oh my no! god! Oh. So I have and just to fight Jr. off. I even have one around my oh my, around my neck. Uh, cheese grater around the neck. Yes. Oh my god! So in god. case you're like close by, I can fight uh, you off with the cre- cheese no, grater. I once, like in high school, my mom was like making tacos, and she was like, "I can't even believe you could touch that." Good. <laughs> well, because I own one and, and I know how to use it, but what well, what happened was. She said, "JR, you know, I got this big block of cheese. Could you grate the cheese for the tacos?" So I'm over there, like, like I think I was doing something and talking and watching TV, and I'm doing this, and my knuckles went, oh. and then they, the skin had come off all my knuckles, and ah. my goodness, there was blood all over the cheese. Mom had to throw that away, oh. wash and sterilize the. You're cheese probably there. watching. You can you, you're watching Three's Company or something. <laughs> <laughs> Three's Company. Come on, knock on our door. <laughs> so, now that's why cheese graters, man. So now I do have one of these, but I bought steel mesh gloves. So when I just when in I, case, just in case. So when I grate the cheese, I have these steel mesh gloves. He's not losing any fingers. That's right. <laughs> How does that joke right. go? So, but all the, all those special effects were great. And all the goriness, and then the blood, right? And then, you know, even when the the mom goes out in the hallway, and then, you know, you got the neighbors out there. They're desperate gruesome, too, out there, right? Right. I mean, and that actually was one of those where they were clever because it was more off-camera, and obviously they saved money on the special special effects, right. but your imagination ran wild because that you one hear, neighbor ah, with the shotgun. You and just hear, boo, boo, ah! Right. And that was one thing I don't, you know, and so that leads to another point. I didn't realize that if you just get attacked by this thing, it spreads like a virus. 
Yeah. Did, did they establish that in the originals? No, I don't think I so. I thought it was one demon, and right. he would that take hop, one hop person over. To person, yeah. But in this case, it spread like it was a contagion. Yeah. Right? Multiple people. Maybe like the trying. daughter got it, and then the son got it, and then right. the na- you know, the guy in the, you know, so it was like, it just kept expanding and expanding. Yeah. Which could be a pretty interesting concept. Well, in that's the what I'm saying. Maybe game. they're trying to rewrite. A little bit of the lore of this, right? Yeah, I mean, because can you imagine if they took this to the next level and, like, an entire city was yeah. all demonic like yeah. this? I mean... Yeah. And then you got a, a rogue brand, band of priests trying to stop this thing, you know? Yeah, and that could be a cool By movie. the way, the uh, the actress that played the mom in this, yeah, Alyssa Sutherland, I'm just curious, do you recognize her from anything? No. So, if you watch... The Netflix series, or well, it was the History Channel series first of Vikings, mm. and then it went over to Netflix and finished out on Netflix. But she was the queen Viking that got married to Ragnar Lothbrok and like kicked out his uh, his old wife Lagatha, and so then there was a kind of a feud. Between his old wife and his new wife, and mm. she became the queen. She's got of the very, Vikings. very distinctive features. Oh, very distinctive so, features. Yeah, I mean, she and when I saw her, I was like, I know her from somewhere. <laughs> and then you it just took me just a few form? seconds. Yeah, I was like, she's the queen in oh, in Vikings. Cool. And I went and looked it up, and sure, sure enough, she was the queen. But in then Vikings. the other woman, who was the her her sister, Jessica. who ends up being pregnant, yeah. and that's why she's there in the first place. Yeah. She had kind of like a deep, raspy voice, and I'm like, you know what she reminded me about? Remember the uh, Three Musketeers, the uh, the sheriff, not the sheriff, the uh, the guy that was uh, the lead of the neg- the bad guys. He was kind of he was also in Nope, that one actor, the older actor who was like trying to oh. film it, and he got sucked. I forgot what that British actor's name. He's got this deep voice. Oh yeah, yeah. And he, I was, he like, was he was the bad guy in The Crow. Yes, he was the like crow the too. That's right. He was the gangster guy. I, the crow. Totally, I looked it up, yeah. but it's not. I was like, I thought it was like his daughter or something. Uh, she kind of had this like drooper voice yeah. once in a while, and it would yeah. go into that. He had that weird like yeah. vocal change that would happen. Yeah. But she was really good. She's an Australian accent. Yeah, uh, yeah interesting. Actress. Well, so so no, I thought it was good acting. You know, mm-hmm. good storyline. Um, you know the the. The only thing that um, I thought, like, I thought they could have delved a little bit more into the lore, like trying to, like maybe they spent more time understanding what the lore was. I would have liked to have seen that. Not a major thing. I mean, some of the blood scenes were like over the top. And like, how many times now have we seen the elevator opening with a gushes of blood? It's totally, like, like shining. Yeah, that, that's the first place we've seen it. But there's been other places too. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? I mean, so I agree. That, yeah. that it seems like that's almost becoming a uh, 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 what's the word? You know, not trite or a cliche. It's yeah. like it's become a demon cliche. cliche. If you're in a skyscraper, yeah. there's gonna be a bloody elevator. Yes, but you know what's interesting is um, I bet that was fun to film. Like you know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. As an actress, because like <laughs> remember when the blood was rising and she's like. <gasps> Freaking out, you right, know what I mean? With the, with the little girl? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would was... love to see the behind the scenes <laughs> on that acting, right? Come here. They were probably on their knees in there just oh, pretending like they were drowning or whatever. But that, know. yeah, I agree with you. That was that was a well done scene in, right. in this particular context. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Go ahead. The movie was, I think, produced by Sam Raimi, but it was written and directed by Lee Cronin. Mm. Now, I went to look to see who's Lee Cronin. I didn't recognize anything he's done. This is, like, really one of his first major films ever. Well, he's done some shorts, mm-hmm. and he's done some TV work, but he's never... So, the only thing I'll say about him was the monster at the end. That was one thing that was interesting about the Book of the Dead, was that it would kept changing pages when, like, a new monster was introduced to show you, like, oh, this is what's happening now. This was When they all, all the, the uh, demon creatures merged. Oh, and yeah. And they made that thing. That I was... heard that was, like, a, one of his creations or oh. something. Like, that was something he did. 
um, like in some other thing, like it was a Cronin creature or something like that. So but, I'm wondering if you can actually buy a Book of the Dead. <laughs> I'm on Amazon right now. Well, there you go. But like, okay, yeah, I've seen that. I want to know. But I don't know if that's like the same all one. those pictures inside. That's what I want to see. So, yeah, they've got a prop that looks like, well... Well, see, this looks like this is from the original. This is the original. Yeah. I want to see the... The ins- new one. I want to read that book. Because that one had the, the claws on yeah, it on the yeah, end, and they had yeah. to, like, you had to prick the claw. Oh, when the book got some of the kid's blood, it all of a sudden opened up. You know, right. almost like a uh, Venus flytrap type of scenario. Right. Oh, look, I can also buy Hellraiser's puzzle box. Oh. Ooh, well, all kinds of stuff you can buy on Amazon. Don't pierce your blood. So, yeah. I mean, the movie did a clever job of trying to combine a lot of things and pull things from other things like right. blood opens the book and right. i really wish they had gone more into the vault i yeah. actually think that's where they should have ended the movie they should have done something because yeah. it was like it was cool i thought it was yeah. really nice the way they like set up all the crosses it was super creepy and, and like, before they do school. an evil dead to rise to or whatever I, i'd rather see i want to i want to see the priests that originally had this and like what they went through I bet yeah. you that could be very spooky and scary, uh, rather than just be out on the lake again, which we've already seen. And, well, and, and ironically, that's how the movie technically ended. Was yeah, on the lake. Oh, I know. <laughs> so I know, which was but, at the but, beginning. But, so that means they're totally setting it up for the next movie is going to be out there or doing it. By the way, uh, the kid <laughs> had the drone. You know what I mean? So the opening yeah. is you see you're going through the forest. Oh like yeah, this, right. Which. Right. Did you think for us, you know... You thought beginning? that was the demon? You thought that was the demon. Dude. Yeah. Because that's how the demon moves in the in the original movies, like through the woods and stuff. Right. And it ended up being the drone. They were right? clever in how they started the yeah. movie. They just yeah. so stupid how they tied it together in the end. Yeah. Did you, by the way, catch the Bruce Campbell Cameo? reference? Oh, you know, reference. Can't, well, I guess it's technically a cameo. I don't know. Because I kept it. looking for it visually. Uh, I'm like, you know what? Was I, he? I wasn't looking for it, so I don't think I saw it. Oh, so he does make an appearance. The only thing he does is, on the record, when the priest is presenting his, we need to just study this, blah, 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 somebody else, like the head of the order, pipes in and says, that's an abomination! That's Bruce Campbell. I seek church approval to translate the spiritual mysteries. Its pages undoubtedly hold. Destroy it! It's called the Book of the Dead for a reason! <laughs> so he does make a really tiny, small appearance in this just to keep the continuity going, but that's it. He never visually appeared anywhere, which he could have. He could have easily played the old guy that gets killed in the hallway, yeah. or you know, uh, maybe they like just that. totally wanted to stay away from you know separate. doing that and separate this. Yeah. What's your favorite? Uh, do you have a favorite Bruce Campbell as Ash? line ever in any of these movies uh this is my boomstick <laughs> okay all right you primitive screwheads listen up see this this is my boomstick it's a 12 gauge double barreled remington s smart's top of the line shop smart shop s smart <laughs> do you remember the one where he goes to the lady, first you want to kiss me. Or first you want to kiss me. Now you want to kill me. You know, he says, blow. First you want to kill me. Now you want to kiss me. Blow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't remember that line? Uh, an army, and these are both an army of the dead. This is my boom boom stick. Yeah, yeah, this was an army of the dead. And I actually saw this in the theater with Chris Smith, one of our viewers. Yeah. When we were in college, we both laughed out loud in the theater so hard when he <laughs> said that. And we were like, we were quoting that for like months, that, that Bruce Campbell quote. It was so hilarious. I mean, that was the great thing about yeah. him is that he could deliver the lines. Yes. And of course, they wrote him some great lines. But to your point, this had no humor in it. There was nothing, nothing. zero humor in the entire movie. Yeah. And, like, you know, that could be a good thing, you know what I mean? Uh, because you're not going to improve on the humor of the first two, mm-hmm. especially without Bruce Campbell. So make this serious, and let's see if, you know, you can start up, reboot this franchise in right. a different direction. So let me see what it did at Box Office Mojo here real quick. Let's see if we can expect an Evil Dead Rise 2. 
meme on it. Let me scrape off some skin here oh, for the uh, ice. Nice. Yes. Ch -ch -ch. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> So it did $146 million. Mm, it probably made money then, right? Uh, worldwide. Yeah. And then, then you'll have your secondary market. You know what? It's possible. It's possible we'll see another Evil Dead. Oh, I'm, I'm sure we will see. I mean, it's it's already got the cult fan base. And even if the fans weren't as happy, right. the critics actually gave it a great score. Yeah. For some reason, these, these horror movies, they, they don't require the biggest of budgets. So. Yeah. You know, maybe thirty, forty million for this, I mean, and then you make one hundred forty-six. Right? I mean, yeah, it's there's two, two is coming out. And so. and the irony is CGI has made it so easy to put these together. You don't really, I mean, other than you're floating in blood, that that scene had to be real. There's no way they could have CGI that. Of course, there needs to be a uh, work stoppage uh, <laughs> relief uh, at at of time of time of um, filming. The writers are on strike and the actors are on strike. Yeah. So we might be seeing a lot of bottom of the barrel movies next year about this time hitting the screen. <laughs> you know, the movies that we're going to go straight studio, to DVD. studio execs furiously writing their own movies? <laughs> I don't know. I, and, and this one I have a feeling is going to go a while because I think both sides are going to dig in. So yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, you know, ultimately the writers and the actors are going to win because. That's the one thing the executives forget. You can't create things out of nothing. And they've tried it with AI, but it doesn't make any... It, you, have you ever seen one of those plays, the screenplays before, or heard about them? This is first generation they AI, make, though. Yeah. This is, this is one of the big reasons why right. the writers are on strike. Because they already see what Gen, Gen 1 AI can do. Yeah. What, what can Gen 3 AI do? Yeah. And will you still be paying the writers or having AI write a script? So all these things need to be answered, and I hope I hope we don't ever see movies based off of AI scripts. To be honest with you, that's the beautiful thing about movies is to see what people have created. I don't want to see what robots have created. So. Go people! Yes, well, up with people! So let's we close both this out. let's close it out. We both we both liked it. Yeah. Thought it could have been better, but it's still pretty good. Still pretty entertaining. I, I was coming into this like I don't want to watch this by myself, but I ended up doing it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I was dreading this because I was like, this is gonna be so gory. Mm. And well, I was right, but like I didn't have one problem. I didn't flinch one time. I didn't move yeah. at, from one sound coming from the corner one time watching this. Right. I. Had no problem watching had, this. In movie. other words, they held off on the suspense. Yeah, they just went full on like inner in your face gore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, well, we'd love to hear what the cult lords think. Do you think the same thing? Would you rate this in the same area that Dane and I did, or do you give a higher score or a lower score? If you do give a higher or a lower score, I'd love to hear why. You know what yeah. what what you thought about it. Uh, right after you hit subscribe, like. And then, you know, tell us, tell us what you thought in the comments. I want to hear what you have to say. Mm hmm So, Dane. Yeah. Uh, Guess what I'm going to close out with. Oh. A little bit of... Are you, you going to cut the cheese? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. Yeah. <laughs> I could run my fingers down here. I'll yeah. take them off. Uh, let's dangerous. see you do that. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. But peace out, everybody.